All right, so I'm just gonna start with two large eggplant. Make sure they're fresh, not too soft and not too green. And I have this little green cutting knife that I usually use. So that's how I'm gonna get started. And this is the pan or the pot that I'm gonna use to just put some cold water in. And once I cut up the eggplant, I'm just gonna put it in this pot and let the pieces soak. Throw a little salt in there. Just let them soak for at least half an hour so that some of the bitterness gets leached out. If I cut into this and it's all brown inside, then I'm a little more concerned about it. There's a little bit of overripeness in there, so I'm going to cut that out. Thin, there'll be too many to fit into two pans that I'm going to use, and I'd say this is about a half an inch, two three quarters of an inch each slice. And uh, remember the old knuckle technique: cut with a knife, and then when you get to the end, be careful. finished with the eggplant breading it and everything I'm just gonna lay them right in there with uh, I think I'm gonna put some tin foil on top but I'll show you that when I'm when I'm at that stage over here I've set up my uh, station in the on the left plate is gonna be um, flour in the bowl in the middle is gonna be my dipping Usually it's uh, an egg, but this time I'm gonna use egg beater. And uh, I'm usually pretty generous about, I usually throw in like three or four eggs by the time I'm done. And then once it's dipped in there and covered with egg, uh, the plate on the right is filled with my breadcrumbs. And from there, once it's dipped and filled with breadcrumbs, I'll just turn around and pop it right into the plate, uh, uh, right into the Pyrex. All right, so before I get things started, here's the uh, whole wheat flour I'm gonna use. It's good old King Arthur. I have egg beaters that's gonna go in the bowl. And I just have a, a canister of uh, Italian-style breadcrumbs. And then over on this side, 
Here's my uh, mozzarella. I, I pre-slice it just to give me one less thing to do. And right out of the jar, I'm gonna end up putting this low sodium tomato basil spaghetti sauce right on top of it. I'm already preheating the oven. It's gonna go up to 375. But while I'm waiting, uh, now is when I'm gonna put the olive oil in the bottom of the pan. I have the spatula. Let's see if I can do this with one hand because my camera crew just took a break. A little bit there. Eat the pan. And I'm just gonna take this and just spread it around the bottom of the pan. Uh, I have yet to have plant that came out of that oven too oily so don't worry too much about it. Just kind of spread it out along there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my first pan, let's use the blue one, bring it over here so it's at the end of the assembly line. Bread crumbs, egg beater, and flour. Plus I keep these out in case I run out which I invariably do. And then I can dump the water out of here. first one or the first couple I'm just gonna grab one dip it in the flour just drop it right in the flour and submerge it in the, the egg beater I think this is gonna work out great because Jane is baking some cookies and then dip it into the bread crumbs and then just place it and my oven's already to the right temperature Now at a certain point, my fingers get kind of gummed up with egg and bread crumbs. So at that point, I'll just stop and rinse my hands off. You see when it gets like that, that's not too bad yet. But... And I'm just gonna keep going until I fill both pans. Okay, so here are all my eggplant slices flour and egged and bread crumbed and uh, yeah two large eggplants make a ton so it's gonna be really good and I usually cook this and then we're, we eat it and then Jane's taken you know uh, three or four slices with her for lunch every day for a couple of days and I'm eating it at home at this point I'm just gonna sprinkle with some tomato sauce put some tin foil on it and then pop it in the oven, 375 degrees, for about 35 minutes. Then I'll uncover it, put my mozzarella on the top, and let the cheese melt. And that's basically it. I put almost the whole uh, jar of spaghetti sauce on there. I leave a little bit, so that I can always add a little bit uh, near the end. It's okay to layer the eggplant slices still cook just as well. So now I'm going to put the tin foil on top and put them in the oven. And there are the pans and they'll be in there for about 35 to 40. 